Nagaland, the land of festivals and the warm Naga people, lies in the northeastern part of India. Historically, the Nagas are known as headhunters and have always been brave warriors. Sometimes Nagaland is also referred to as the Switzerland of the East. The region is primarily hilly and has a pleasant climate all through the year. It is perhaps the best place for the adventurous at heart and makes an ideal place for trekking and camping. Also known as Paradise on Earth, the Zuku Valley is the most famed valley of Nagaland and the natural beauty of the area is absolutely captivating. Another attraction for tourists is the Kohima War Cemetery. The cemetery is a tribute to the soldiers who laid down their lives pushing back the Japanese army during the Second World War. The bodies of around 1,100 British and 330 Indian soldiers are buried here. One of the biggest cathedrals of Northeast India is located at Aradura Hill in Kohima. Its magnificent architecture makes it an important landmark of Kohima. The Hornbill Festival is named after the Hornbill, a large, magnificent forest bird. Held every year at the Naga Heritage Village in Kisama, about 12 kilometers from Kohima, the festival is held over a period of seven days annually. The entire heritage village was built for the sole purpose of hosting this festival and the 16 tribes of Nagaland each have their own representative hut in the village. Organized by the government of Nagaland, the festival showcases the entire spectrum of the rich culture of the various Naga tribes. The Hornbill Festival was created to bring together the various tribes of the state to display their culture and tradition in the form of dances, songs, sports, foods and many other colourful events. People from within India as well as foreign visitors experience and witness the colourful festival with great enthusiasm. Well, uh we find that uh, this is the right platform where we can uh, expose our you know traditions cultures and also you know we come to in contact with the uh, different people from uh, you know different parts of the country and even uh, foreign countries so this is the this is the time a place where we can uh, show our traditions our culture and also learn from those people who come from outside. The importance of this Hornbill Festival is, I think, it's to keep our culture alive, to showcase our culture to the rest of the world, and also to show the unity among the different tribal communities in Nagaland. Delicious, mouth-watering and typically Naga food from the different tribes is served in various huts or morooms. Each morong also has its own restaurant, which serves their specific tribal delicacy.
Rice fare is always in great demand and tourists don't mind standing in long serpentine queues for a taste of the same. The Kohima Night Bazaar is another great attraction during the Holm Middle Festival. It remains the busiest market in the entire town for seven days. People from all generations, especially youngsters, are seen in the market enjoying the music, the songs and the fine food served at the stalls. The festival is indeed a major crowd puller. Cultural events take place throughout the duration of the festival. Traditional dances by various cultural troops from different parts of the Northeast are performed and from dance, music to local games, the event mesmerizes everybody present. Enriched with excellent folk tales and folk songs, the Ao tribe is one of the Naga tribes living mostly in the Mokokchong district in Nagaland. Catching the attention of all, the Angami Naga tribe also showcases their traditional folk dances and songs. Other major tribes of the Nagas include the Sumis, the Lothas, the Changs, the Zilian Grongs, among many others. A well-known quartet, the Tetsio sisters, comprising the four sisters, also enthralls all with their lovely Chakisang songs. An interesting factor that adds great flavour to the festival are the various unique competitions. The chili eating competition turned out to be a huge crowd puller where not only the Nagas but also people from different parts of the world participated.
The winner was adjudged based on the number of chilies consumed. In the pork fat or lard eating competition, the contestants needed to finish eating the maximum amount of pork fat within the allotted time. Other interesting competitions included the piglet catching competition, greased bamboo pole climbing competition, and wrestling to name a few. Fourth Northeast Riders Meet 2012, in collaboration with the Hornbill Festival, organized a motorbike rally and was one of the most unique attractions of the year's Hornbill Festival. Inaugurating the Hornbill Art Festival at the World War II Museum, Member of Parliament, lyricist and scriptwriter Javed Akhtar expressed that he saw something here which he had not seen anywhere else in the world. Renowned fashion designer Atsu Sekose showcased Naga textiles, art and designs which upped the glamour quotient of the festival. The Nagas are a highly skilled people. Various items made of bamboo, like necklaces, baskets, ornamental items and many more amazed a large number of tourists. Another thing that the Nagas are famous for is their colourful, bright and bold beaded jewellery and many such exquisite pieces were also up for sale. Traditional arts which included paintings, wood carvings and sculptures were on display as well. Music lovers of Nagaland got the best treat ever at the rock concert when different bands set the stage on fire. bands challenged the freezing cold temperatures as they performed under the open skies for the top prize. Seven days got over in just the blink of an eye. On the last day of the festival, Miss Nagaland, 
Imbli Benla Jamir lighted a bonfire and as the sun set behind the hills in Kisama, the bonfire lit up the arena and all the tribes started singing their folk songs and danced around the fire, a fitting culmination to this showcase of the tribes of Nagaland. The Hornbill Festival of Nagaland is a cultural extravaganza to revive, protect and preserve the richness and uniqueness of the Naga heritage. While for the visitors to this event, it is a means to understanding the Naga people, their land and culture. Over the years, the event has covered a great many milestones and has now become a unique platform for tourists to witness the cultural diversity not only of the Nagas but the other sister states of Northeast India as well. This event brings unity among the different tribes and also gives new life and vitality to the culture and tradition of the Northeast. <laughs>